Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna. I am with uh, Smith's Creative Design Space, and I wanted to show you the new album that I have finished up. This is uh, the Gorgeous Girls um, paper. Um, this is measures six and a half by eight and a half, and the spine is four inches. Okay, so here's the front, then the side. Of course, the back. Now, there's not a closure on here. I didn't feel like I needed one, and plus I have these tabs that were sticking out, so I didn't do a closure. Okay, we'll go ahead and start with the first page. Just flips open like this. On the first page here, you have a little pocket here for some inserts, and it just kind of goes in like this, so it's not a just a straight-in pocket. You have plenty of room for matting. Um, this is magnetized here. It opens like this. Here is a, another pocket for um, adding pictures and a little fold out. Now this space right here, if this is big enough for a photo, I count that as a space for a photo. Uh, like right here, I just you know stamped this. Uh, this little white piece will slide up and you can slide your little photo down there as well. But this also is a pocket too. And these hold really large photos or not so large. And you can also put like a photo here or a journaling either way. Okay. So we're going to go on to the next page. This is also magnetized closure, a great place for journaling. Right, we'll open this. It's a little envelope. It also has some photo mats in it. And you can definitely store other memorabilia or things, you know, uh, from the, that you want to keep and that you want to share with your family. I think these albums are great because instead of everybody, you know, looking around on your phone, you're gathered around a book that, you know, is really put together nicely and very pretty. So these are also places you can, you know, take advantage of this as well. Um, lots of landscape. Each one of these little things here will have a pullout and you'll be able to, you know, put a photo on the front or the back, either way. Um, the pullouts are eight inches by six and one eighth. Okay, I'll put that back in here. And you can put them where the tabs are staggering differently, however that you want it. Okay. So we'll move the book over this way. Um, this is also magnetized, it flips it up. This pulls out this way. Here's a little book for journaling, you can open it up. Also this way, this one will come out the next, the opposite direction. Also another great place for some journaling. And here, this just kind of opens up. It's a great place. This does is just journaling spot. And again, another one of those slide outs. Keep opening. This is another pocket. Now this pocket doesn't open on the side. It does just go straight down. Now with these, you know, you're thinking, well, what photo would I put here? Well, I get the collage photo when I order from like Walgreens or what have you. And what I do is I will take little photos and I would I would put them in three different, I would put three here, actually, this is exactly what I would do. And then on the back, I would just journal about the photo, uh, the photos, what they are, what have you. I have three fur babies, so, you know, I'd probably put three, each picture on there, and then journal it. Here's another little tuck spot, one of the gorgeous girls. Now, this is a frame, it's on with washi tape, so you can definitely remove it. Um, but, you know, I'm just showing you here how you can use this, you know, to frame a picture if you wanted to. Or you can remove the whole thing and just put a large picture on there either way. On the next page, the same thing. Lots of landscape. Another little cute um, frame here. Another journaling spot. And, of course, this comes out. So we keep moving. This is cute. This is a belly band. But I also went ahead and I took one of the envelopes that comes in... Um, one of the, the little embellishing kits that you can get um, separately. But I uh, I did go ahead and added just like a little journaling card. And I thought that, that was just really cute too. But you can put like a photo, whatever you want there. Now this is um, a band and of course it holds, you know, photo mats too. Now most of these photo mats are large. So, you know, you're going to be able to put lots of different photos in there. Um, great for, you know, doing a little girl's school album and just doing like you know marking the years that she's went to school or what have you because this gorgeous line i don't have the adult gorgeous girls but there are some you know it grows up and it's really just adorable it's another belly band some more photo mats here this opens like this 
And of course, here's another pocket, our side pocket. You can tuck different uh, you know, photo mats here, journaling places. This is a waterfall, and this is gonna come up just like this, okay? So when you get to, ah, when you get to the end here, that's what you'll have, and you'll have her down here at the bottom. And she is, I did, you know, um, make this, stain this so that it did look a little older. So, um, with that being said, that's why you do see the brown edges. You may not like that sort of thing. I do. I think it's lovely. I love it. Uh, so, moving on. And this is part of this pocket right here. So, that's why there's, there's not a pocket here. But here's another one of um, the slide outs here. Another great place for a photo opportunity. Photo opportunity here. Here, this is so super cute. Have pictures of both of the girls. Kind of frame them in. Uh, put a little photo opportunity right here or a journaling spot. This opens up as well and this can just hold more photos or more journaling and uh, photo mats. So this is going to be on sale on my, um, in my shop um, and I will definitely link that below whenever this goes up. But I want to thank you so much for stopping by. If you like it, uh, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share. Thanks so much. Bye.